I just destined to wear bike shorts or leggings for the rest of my life? Maybe. You might be looking at the title of this video and thinking, has Carrie finally lost it? And to that I say, probably. But in all seriousness, I've been wanting to do this video for a while because I really wanna change the conversation around weight gain online. We'll get into that in a bit, but I thought it might be interesting to try on all of my pre-quarantine jeans. I have about like seven or eight pairs of jeans that I keep in my wardrobe at all times. I want to address the fact that we're in a global pandemic. This has not happened in our lifetime. It is absolutely insane that this is going on right now. And your only job during a global pandemic Pandemic, and the only thing you have to worry about is staying alive. That's it. I've done an entire video sort of addressing this topic. I'll link it down below for you, but there's such a negative connotation attached toward quarantine weight gain. I mean, weight gain in general, which is rooted in fat phobia, which is rooted in racism, but that's another topic for another day. We will have to get into that later because wow. And that conversation, that entire narrative about like emerging from quarantine, being snatched and skinny and all of that is not it. That is not it. Weight fluctuation is a major part of not only recovery from disordered eating or eating disorders, but also just life, like just life. I have always been someone who fluctuates greatly in my weight. I have days where I feel like I am swimming in a pair of jeans and then, you know, a couple weeks later I might be bloated, I might be on my period, there might be other things going on and I could completely be busting out of them and both are okay. Do you hear me? Both are okay. So I thought that doing this in a very lighthearted way, I truly have not tried on any of these jeans since about February or March, like the last time I left my house. With the exception of one pair of stretchy waist jeans that I've worn in a couple videos recently, I'll talk about it when I get to it, but I haven't worn any of these and I'll be genuinely curious to see if they still fit. And guess what? If they do, that's great. And if I don't fit into these jeans, that is equally okay because my worth is not attached to any weight, any size, any number, stitch inside some fabric? No, not me. My weight and my body size might fluctuate, but my worth does not. I'm sure you've heard a lot of that online, and if you haven't, you're not following the right people. I'll link some down below for you. But in the spirit of having kind of a no big deal attitude around my body, just a very neutral stance, if you will, I thought it might be a fun, silly little experience to try on these jeans together. So we're gonna do kind of like a trying on different sizes style, although I'm not in a fitting room, thank God, honestly. I'm in the comfort of my own home, but we're gonna do the best we can, so let's jump in. Okay, hello, here we have the pie of jeans. This is all of the jeans I own. I know it might seem like, what? You try on so many jeans, you buy so many jeans. I do a pretty good job at like quarterly throughout the year, which you guys will see shortly, going through my closet, purging my closet, reselling items, donating items, etc. So I do try to keep things in my closet that currently fit me. I don't like to hold on to things that may seem like, oh, if I lose a couple pounds, I'll fit into them later. Like, no, if I can't go out of the house and wear it today, I'm not gonna keep it. So this may seem like a lot of jeans to you, may seem like a little bit of jeans to you, but this is what I've got. This is all of my jeans. <laughs> wow, we're in for a treat. So I'll go right off the top and just kind of try each of them on as I go. So this first pair is from Wild Fable. By the way, if any of these jeans are still available, I'll link them for you down below. Some of them are newish, some of them I got years ago, so it'll kind of vary, but this is a pair of paper bag jeans that I actually first saw my friend Sierra wear on her channel. She wore a lighter pair of these jeans and I swear she made them all sell out because I couldn't find them anywhere, but I found this darker pair at my local Target. They are from the Wild Fable brand. I got these in a size 14, but because they're paper bag, they're a bit oversized. So I know that these fit. I've worn these in recent videos. So I feel like maybe I'll just skip these. Or do I want to try them on just for fun? I mean, for the sake of the video, we might as well, right? Okay, let's do it. Okay. A little tighter than I remember, but they still fit. This pair of jeans and having a pair of jeans like this is really awesome for someone like me who, depending on the time of the month, their waist is different sizes. These are just real stretchy and super comfortable. I love these jeans. Here, I'll show you a better shot. Here's what this first pair looks like. I'm gonna hang on to these forever. I love these jeans so much. They're great for if you wanna wear like crop tops, especially. I just think they look so cute because this little paper bag moment gets to shine, but you can also like tuck in shirts with them. The fit still feels honestly perfect. They're a little bit tighter on the legs than they were at the beginning of quarantine, but I actually prefer that better because I don't really like, you know, loose jeans. I have a couple loose pairs, but for the most part, I like them to be a bit tighter and like a little more form-fitting. So yeah, here's what the first pair looks like. 
we're off to a good start. I do get a lot of questions about these jeans. So like I said, if they're available, I'll link them down below. But moving on, we have our next pair of jeans, which these are from Madewell. I believe I got these at the Nordstrom anniversary sale last year. If you've been wanting to try Madewell, they are a pretty pricey brand, but sometimes if you wait for the Nordstrom anniversary sale, it can be so, so, so discounted. Or a lot of times they have discounts on their actual website as well. But I got these, I think they're just called like the mom jean. Yep, it literally says right here, they're called the mom jean, but these are a bit of a stretchier pair and I love having these because as you'll see, mom jeans are the cutest thing ever, but literal torture devices to wear. So this is kind of like a happy medium. You're meeting right in the middle because they do have a bit of stretch. These are a US size, where am I here? 32, so I think that equates to a US size 14. I should really learn this if it's gonna be my job. But I'm typically right around a 14, so let's see what these guys look like. Here we go, made well, don't let me down. Oh yeah. I also love these because they are so super high-waisted. Oh, oh, <sighs> okay. God, I love these jeans. Why don't I wear these jeans more? I don't wanna take them off. These are great. I will say that they are a bit tighter and it is a little bit harder to like lift up my leg just because of the fact that they were a bit looser when I first started wearing them, but they still fit. There's still a little gap in the back here. They're still really stretchy. They're still comfortable. That's the only thing that I'm basing any of this off of. I know I'm probably gonna have to get rid of some jeans in this video because I'm not about to wear a pair of jeans that I'm not comfortable in, but these feel really good. I just love how high cut these are. They're just the best. However, <laughs> Uh, next up, I just, I have a feeling about these. So, okay, these are like the best mom jeans I have found yet to date. I've tried on probably more pairs of jeans than anyone you know, but these have been my favorite mom jeans I have ever found. They're the perfect shade. They are made well as well. I got these, I believe at the anniversary sale. These are also called the mom jean in a size 32, but these do not have any stretch. They are the worst. If I am going anywhere where I know I need to sit for extended periods of time, I do not wear these. It doesn't matter what the perfect size is for you. Mom jeans are just so uncomfortable because there's absolutely no give. So this is gonna be really interesting, but this is like probably my favorite pair of jeans I own. Before I move on also, I wanna say, just like while I'm thinking of it, that these are feeling a little tight around the tummy at the moment. It could just be the fact that I haven't worn jeans in three months, but I am feeling a little slightly suffocated at the moment. Just thought I would mention. These will live to survive another day, but in another couple weeks, I don't know. We'll have to see about that. Okay, these guys. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, we've made it this far. <sighs> However, the buttoning is a whole other story. Okay, I think we can do this. I think. Ooh. Yikes. I don't know about these. <laughs> I could not sit right now. <laughs> like if someone asked me to put on a shoe, it would be an Olympic sport trying to get that done. Obviously I'm not gonna suffer to be able to wear these jeans, but I don't know, like I don't feel very comfortable. I do think it might be worth getting another pair in a size up because like who wants to sit there and be in excruciating abdominal pain just to wear a pair of jeans? Like why do we do this? So these do fit. I use that term loosely, but like, I mean, I'm not exaggerating. This is the highest I can lift my leg. I genuinely feel like I'm gonna split these jeans. Squats, here we go. This is as far, I'm literally not exaggerating. This is as far as I can go. This is a ticking time bomb, this situation. I feel like literally just like getting in or out of my car would run the risk of ripping these completely in half. So I don't think that I can keep these. Maybe these might end up on my Poshmark or Depop or something. They're the cutest jeans ever, but they, I'm like in pain. My stomach is starting to hurt. I do not want to wear these anymore, goodbye. I'm honestly just gonna leave these open because I really don't care. Okay, next we have another pair of mom jeans. However, this pair is a little bit different because I sized up in them. These are an American Eagle pair of mom jeans. They are an extremely like open, holy pair of jeans, if you will. Um, and actually these jeans started off a little bit more closed up like that, but when wearing them, all of these seams just completely broke. So it's essentially two gigantic holes in the middle of these jeans. <laughs> but I did size up in these jeans. I ordered them in a size 16. So I'm hoping that these go better than the last pair because there is a size in between them. Let's hope these are a little less painful. 
I'm trying to get dressed without being naked on camera. Okay. Whee. Yeah, a little tight, not gonna lie. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Here's the thing. So these jeans are cute, but they are not comfortable. Like now that I've been not wearing these jeans for three months, I don't know if I could ever go back because yeah, they are a bit tighter in the waist. No big deal if they are or if they aren't, but I don't like, why did we put ourselves through this? I mean, this is cute as hell. Don't get me wrong, but like wh why the hell? <laughs> This is so uncomfortable. Am I just destined to wear bike shorts or leggings for the rest of my life? Maybe. This quarantine situation has taught me a lot of things about life, about myself, about my body. It's made me slow down in a lot of areas of life, but it's also just made me reevaluate like my fashion choices, comfortability, things that like I used to kind of not worry about when it came to fashion. But now I'm like, I don't know. I mean, these are very cute, but I could never see myself wearing these again for like hours and hours and then taking them off at the end of the day and having like massive imprints in my stomach because I'm so uncomfortable. Nothing against you if you want to keep wearing them. Whatever makes you feel your most confident self but I don't know like these are cute at all but I am hurting the next pair is another pair of mom jeans from American Eagle this is a kind of like more acid washed I guess black pair these I have also sized up in because American Eagle mom jeans do not play <laughs> this is a size 16 okay, these actually these aren't as bad you know what these aren't as bad and I will say you know what let me fix oh god <sighs> trying to fix the bottom of these, but I might cut myself in half. I hope you enjoyed that cuff because I just risked my life to do it. Do you know what's funny is actually, I mean, these aren't like the most comfortable things in the entire world. They're really similar to the last pair. I mean, they're pretty much the exact same jeans, just a different wash. But what I will say that's kind of funny is before quarantine, when I wore these jeans, you know, I did size up, especially for the waist area. I sized up because I wanted them to kind of look more like a boyfriend style, like a little bit looser around the leg. They were really bad baggy on me and that's kind of why I liked them. But now since, you know, quarantine started, I've gained a little bit of weight, which again, don't care, not a big deal. It's funny because I actually sort of prefer the way these jeans look on me now. Very interesting. Like I just feel like they look a little bit better probably because I am more like a size 16 now. So me wearing a size 16 is like my perfect fit, but I really like these. They are slightly uncomfortable in the waist. I have that just like twinge of a stomach ache happening. I don't know if I can ever go back to non-stretchy jeans. Maybe these will be for special occasions where I know I'm going to be standing for long periods of time, but judging based off of just like the way they look right now, I actually prefer them much more now. Next we have a complicated pair of jeans because these are actually from Reformation. Um, if you haven't been made aware or haven't stayed updated on social media, Reformation has recently come under fire after their CEO has been exposed for being extremely racist. I actually did private the video that I made with Alexa for Reformation. This was the only pair of jeans that I kept from that video. I'm tempted to burn them, but for the sake of like the environment, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I don't know if I'm going to donate them. I don't know if I'm just gonna keep them. But for a brand that so openly talks about how they're ethically made, I mean, that's not ethical at all. <laughs> the way that this woman was treated, and I'm sure many, many others, is absolutely disgusting and unacceptable. But but I do have this pair of jeans from them. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with them moving forward, but I didn't want to just try on these jeans without touching on that first. These are in a size 14. That's the other thing. On top of everything else, Reformation sizing is a joke. It was the worst sizing of any brand I have ever tried on my channel. All the plus size stuff was too big for me. All of the standard size stuff was too small for me. And so I found this pair of jeans and I liked them so much that I kept them because I was hoping that if I washed them enough times, they would shrink because they were way too big. They were the smallest size plus size. Anyways, all about to say, these jeans were too big for me at the beginning of quarantine. And I kind of held on to them, like I said, to see if maybe I washed them enough times and they shrunk. So we're gonna try them on because if they were too big, then they might be just perfect now. We'll see. I don't know. I have a lot of mixed feelings about this. Let me know your thoughts down below. Right. Let's see here. Yeah. You know what? No, these are still trash. You know, you can see like right here just how off the sizing is. And let's be honest, their plus size offerings were like charitable at best. They were like, oh, here's 72 different sizes in standard size jeans. And like, 
four in plus size. So honestly, who knows? Like these jeans, I don't know the best decision to move forward with. I don't wanna waste them and then kind of further contribute towards destruction of the planet to have these end up in a landfill, but these just aren't it. Like I don't even like them. They were very expensive, like $100. I highly regret ever shopping there. Didn't know this was gonna turn into so much of a rant, but yeah, no. They're really tight down here at the calf and extremely, like I could literally just pull these off. Yes, I mean, I just completely pulled these off of my entire body and didn't even have to unbutton them. So these are the worst. Reformation, if you're seeing this, this one's for you. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you wanna be notified every time I post a new video. Please remember that no matter what size jeans you wear or dress you wear or bra size you wear or whatever it is, it has absolutely no weight on your soul, your worth, what you have to offer the world, who you are as a person. You are valuable no matter your size. Sometimes your body might look one way, sometimes it might look another Way, but both of those are valid and important and loved. Love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.